Hello everyone, we're delighted to share a piece of good news with you. Yaolink Meeting Bar A20 and A30 has upgraded to the next level with support for Android 10. You are guaranteed reliability with Yaolink Meeting Bar because Android 10 is still maintained by Google and we will keep upgrading our Android products. What's more, the upgraded Meeting Bar is now even simpler to deploy and has more powerful AI functions. Next are highlights of the upgrade features. We have noticed that there are a lot of market demands for a multi-platform meeting room solution that requires a diverse and flexible deployment experience, especially in the SME segment. If a company hasn't decided to adopt any dedicated UC platform like Teams or Zoom at this moment, the A20 and A30 are perfect and standalone USB peripheral video conferencing tools. Bring your own device and immediately have a meeting via any other platform. Starting from standalone device mode, later, when the company decides to use a certain UC platform, the transition can be completed seamlessly. Multiple choice, simple deployment, and investment protection make Meeting Bar the best choice as a diverse and flexible meeting room solution for now and for future. All AI camera functions have been upgraded in the A20 and A30. It now reacts faster and moves more smoothly, and one frame dissolves naturally into another when changing modes. Now the camera creates a more fluent video experience. Real-time auto framing. Yalink Meeting Bar uses real-time auto-framing, which is different from traditional auto-framing. The camera frames and track people in the meeting room. There are no jumping pictures, and the camera doesn't need to search people from time to time as everyone in the meeting room is always on track. Speaker tracking. Speaker tracking frames a real-time close-up of the speaker. It brings a face-to-face -face meeting experience. When speaker changes, like what we're doing right now, the camera is able to react immediately, and the active speaker can always be tracked. What is present at the moment is the traditional speaker tracking feature. As you can see, it only frames on the individuals. Next, what we're going to test is another new speaker tracking feature. And with this new speaker tracking feature, it brings you a better tracking experience when there is a conversation. I think discussion is not an important case except for speech, right? Yeah, of course. Actually, the meeting bar knows that there is a conversation between us. Oh, really? Please tell me more about it. Yeah, right now, we are having a conversation with each other and the meeting bar will frame both of us. So instead of shifting between two speakers, the camera frames us. However, if a conversation paused and either of the speaker continues to speak, the camera will frame on the individual again, like what is shown at the moment. Picture in picture. If you want to show the meeting room and the speaker at the same time, Picture-in-picture -picture mode is your best choice. Multi-focus framing. In this mode, everyone's face can be seen clearly, which solves the problem of distractions caused by an unclear background. Smart gallery. This mode displays three video feeds from a single conference room, one panoramic view of the room, and two individual views of the current and last active speaker. This allows the camera to focus more closely on groups of participants and display these people more clearly to remote attendees. All AI audio functions are upgraded in the A20 and A30. Leveraging a massive deep learning sound database, it is more about intelligent audio analysis than standard filtering of audio frequencies. This results in better noise handling solutions and more balanced voice pickup. Everyone gets heard in meetings. Noise cancellation. To demonstrate the noise cancellation performance, we're going to make some kinds of noise that can be heard in real meetings, such as the noise from the door, from the keyboard, from the chair, 
and some noise produced by plastic. And first, without noise cancellation feature enabled, it actually sounds like this. I will count from 1 to 10 for a test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Repeat again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So actually, you can hear the noise completely. Okay, now we're in a real Teams meeting with the noise cancellation feature enabled on the yelling Teams meeting bar. And this time, it will sound like this. I will repeat again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you can see, all the noise were fully removed. Fantastic. Acoustic shield. For the open media space, we really need a virtual acoustic shield to prevent the external noise from entering this meeting area. I'll do a little bit test to explain more clearly. Now, if I walk outside of the meeting area, then people from the remote end can hear my voice again. Extended wireless microphone. A medium sized meeting room. If I'm sitting far away from the meeting bar, my voice may not be as clear and loud as the people who are sitting close to the device. So, that's the reason why I need an extended mic. VCM36, which is actually a wireless mic. It can be working with the meeting bar's internal microphones. In this way, it can provide a better audio experience. The A20 and A30 support whiteboard content sharing with the UVC30 content can, featuring an easy to deploy system that reuses existing traditional whiteboards. The content camera enables real-time collaboration. Let's see how it works. That's all the highlights of our Meeting Bar A20 and A30 Android 10 upgrade. Thanks for watching.